On 58th Street, on 58th is the longest. A five block long line for early voting at Lincoln Center. Three hour wait. I am willing to wait for as long as it takes. She was among a variety of people here who said they want to cast their ballots in order to make the election's outcome clear. I am a little bit worried, yeah, about the Supreme Court. So we'll just, I, I don't think we're going to know on November 4th. Specifically, people on the line that was so long that a musician was here to help them pass the time expressed skepticism with Justice Amy Coney Barrett, officially sworn in today as the ninth member of the Supreme Court. Does that answer your question? Just yesterday, when there were still only eight official justices, the court ruled five to three that mail-in election ballots in Wisconsin could not be counted after Election Day, even if they were postmarked on Election Day. That's a change from last April, when in Wisconsin's primaries, the court allowed ballots postmarked by Election Day to be counted. 80,000 ballots were allowed then that would be disqualified now. And election cases are pending before the court from North Carolina and Pennsylvania that Coney Barrett may rule on. Daniel Feldman is a former New York State Senator who's had a voter fraud case in one of his own elections go before a state court. The John Jay College law professor has written about governmental power and says he trusts the court to be objective. However, your judgment is unfortunately likely to be influenced by what you want to believe. Would Justice ba the accession of, of Justice Barrett to the court, um, can, could it make a significant difference in the way election law cases are, are going to be decided? The answer is clearly yes. Here we go. Which is why these voters say they can be patient with long lines. Oh, 58, 58. But impatient with a close election. This is why I'm voting in person, so it doesn't have to be answered by the court. And the court will start reviewing some of those cases right away. And right now, reporting live from Lincoln Center outside this early voting precinct, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.